Welcome everybody to Strawberry Jam number 24. The first map in Strawberry Jam number 24 is Dinner with Grandma by Kulibreka and Kazen Craft, I think is how you pronounce that. And uh, the theme of this jam is machines. The title of this map, once again, is Dinner with Grandma. We're going to see how that fits in with the whole machine theme. Uh, before starting, we need to do some commands because I guess the uh the thing that they okay yeah we're gonna see um yeah no that's not working okay well <laughs> hopefully things still kind of sort of work out uh read before starting open box gear up let's get rid of this stuff i'm not sure what all of this means but we will see go back to survival let's switch it to hard because we always like to play in hard and let's see here book says welcome to dinner with grandma made by these folks for the 24th strawberry jam you are a house robot designed to do chores the owners have left after dropping your package off inside the kitchen you have a to-do list that you should probably start doing i like this idea for a map you know, too, too often CTMs are just a kind of really straightforward fantasy type map or something with like lots of lava and fire, you know, so it's, it's fun to have these kind of, these kinds of maps. Uh, grandma is coming over today and the owners want the house spotless for her. So we have to clean up for grandma, uh, to do clean the sink, destroy the ant colony, light the stove, break the trash on the floor floor and fix the TV. Pour water in the glasses, defeat the spiders, drink some milk, remove breadcrumbs from under the couch. Um, okay. Did we get a did we get another one of these books if we happen to lose this one? Let's hope so. Do we want to do this? Okay. Sure, why not? Gear up. Uh number five, and all of that looks good to me. I'm not sure what the flint and steel is for, but we will figure it out. Can we just um start breaking things? It looks like it. Let's go ahead and get some. I don't know why I'm not using my axe, right? We got an axe. What's on the other side of this? Uh, it looks like nothing. Oh. Um, okay. Interesting. Lots of spawners. I see a chest out there, too. I imagine that this is just going to open this up right okay sorry I kind of I kind of messed up your box here <laughs> uh, let's get some blocks on the bar uh, slime block for something a bow we will take that and I guess let's check out the book again clean the sink destroy the ant colony light the stove I guess that's what the flint and steel is for. Break the trash on the floor. Um, fix the TV. Okay. I don't know what all of that refers to exactly. But I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually, maybe. Spiders. Silverfish. Nothing... Nothing too dangerous there. And once again, with these strawberry jam things, I will probably only do one episode per map unless I'm really enjoying the map. That is. Uh, okay, they're one shot kills. Go ahead and take out the spawner quickly. Hi. And. Water, that's leading us somewhere. And what are you exactly? Do none of the mobs have sounds? Or you know what? Do I have mob sounds off? No. Okay. Not sure. Gosh, you have a lot of a lot of health there, guy. Uh, let's go and do that. And destroy the spawner. I think is this the ant colony because you guys kind of look like ants I have no idea 
Ooh, a hidden chest with a sharpness two sword. We will take it. Um, so this is so this is certainly a very very unique map. I must say, and I've always liked this style of kind of building real life stuff in Minecraft. What are you? It's another spider spawner. Okay, here's the stove. Mr. Spider, you better back off. You better back off, guy. You're slightly faster than I am, but I think we're going to make it to the top before you do. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy you. It seems like not all of these spawners are primed. Oh, gosh. I almost messed that one up, didn't I? And what's it say? Flame Fang Spider. Let's take this guy out from a distance so that we can rush. Oh, wait, is that iron? Yeah, that's that's definitely iron. Let's go ahead and destroy you. Ooh, I didn't see you there. I did not see you there. We should probably just go ahead and get some iron gear and level up, you know? Did more of them spawn? Gosh, they spawn fast, man. Um, how how many arrows? We got 15 arrows. I don't know. It might be smarter to save some of those. Yeah, we can get a bucket. We can get all the things that we need. I'm tempted to see how much damage they actually do, but... Uh, nope, we're not going to get it in time. Okay, well... Yeah, what are we supposed to light over here? There's a chest. Let's go ahead and take you out. Can we just burn down the whole thing? Will that work? Is fire spread on? I'm going to say fire spread is not on, actually. Another spawner down. Uh, let's try and... I don't know what we're trying to do, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, uh, I want to get over here and take out these spawners, but I'm not sure if that's even what we're supposed to be trying to do or what. It's, uh, it's a lot of guys. Can we... Reach. Yes, we can. That should slow things down a little bit. Let's go and eat some food. Can we reach that one? Yes, we can. Problem solved. Uh, I mean, I would think that we're supposed to, like, light right here or something. Not being able to input the commands, I'm sure, is messing things up, though. Where's that chest that we saw? It was over here. And you are chicken. And a shield, which we just made. Uh, okay, what else are we buy? There's the sink right there. Clean the sink. I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Um, okay, looks like it goes down. Is there any way to get some water nearby, maybe? I'll take out the silverfish. Is it supposed to be so light in here? Um, okay, sure, why not? We will take that. Hi. Uh, ooh, a smite three axe. Yes, please. There's no... I mean, I know where there's some water. I wonder where you could get water. Is that... Is that what you want me to do? 
does it go down right here? Go ahead and put our axe on the number six. No. And take you out. Um, ooh. Okay, I think this is going to be slightly better than our iron armor. Actually, let's do something like that. I have no idea if that's a good choice, but... Um, yeah, that's okay. Uh, Alright, let's, let's, yeah, let's try to do the, what are we supposed to be doing now? Clean the sink, destroy the ant colony, light the stove, break the trash on the floor, fix the TV, pour water in the glasses. Are those the glasses? Did I just break one of them? Does that mean we lost? I have no idea. Are we supposed to like fill up the entire thing? Oh, let me up, let me up, let me up. Um Sure. Uh, yeah, okay. I uh, I'm not entirely sure. Do we have to fill all of them? Wait, let's just keep kind of roaming around here. There's a strange wooden door in the side of what I think is a cupboard. Um, what is this now? And who are you? Exactly? Okay, let's just go around taking out the spawners if we can. Like so. Up top is probably going to be a bit more challenging, simply because there are more of them. But if we can get to a corner, like a so, and start whittling them down a little bit. Let's switch to our... Actually, you know, it's probably going to be the best is the axe. I think it should two-shot these guys. Um... Slowly, slowly whittle them down. The rates on the spawners are quite high. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but there's lots of them. Which, um... Can certainly be a bad thing. Okay, we didn't, we didn't get that one. But we got that one. And... That one. Alright, we have... Whittled things down significantly. Nope, 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 nope. Let's eat some food. Like a so. And let's come over here and take out the last one. Thank you very much. And goodbye. This is quite interesting, actually. Oh, gosh. I'm in a hole. I'm stuck in a hole with purple guys. And I have no idea what they're supposed to be exactly. I think most of the mobs are supposed to be like germs and stuff. Germs and insects. So I think that's what these guys are. Um, up. Up. Hi. You're not even going to try to attack me, huh? This is a lot of chests. Where are we anyways? Are we inside of the freezer? Is that what this is supposed to be? Is there anything in these chests? No. Not as far as I can tell, at least. Oh. Some steak. Don't mind if I do. You know, I'm curious. Um, for, like, this smite axe, if I hit the mob without a full swing, does it still do the full smite damage? I kind of forget how that works. It should still do, like, a percentage of the initial attack damage, right? Because I think that's how the enchants work. So, like, sharpness, and this is not accurate, but sharpness will do, like, 20% more damage than your initial attack damage. So if I do a half swing and it only causes, like, two damage, then um, it would do, like, two, almost two and a half damage or something like that. I have no idea. And we're not...
not going to need that either. Okay, I think that's it for this room. I did not even see you back there. Oh, there's a chest. With... Uh, milk. We're supposed to drink milk, right? We are in the fridge. That is indeed where we are. It said to just drink milk, right? And not anything else? Um, drink some milk. Yeah, I... I... White wool obtained. Okay. Um, we don't actually have the white wool. But I think it might, like, appear on the monument or something? I really don't know. The stove has been lit. Uh, let's head down the sink thing. Whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh, there's a void there, you guys. And down they go. Um, sure. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and... Oh gosh, you scared me, guy. Good timing, too. Just right when I... Right when I built the bridge for you. That should save us from any... What was that? Icebreaker. Can break ice. I've already broken ice, haven't I? I got another icebreaker. What are we supposed to do with this? Um, huh. Okay. I'm a little, a little confused, but we have a diamond pick now, so I guess we can be happy about that. Something tells me that this was a very, very ambitious map, and that with some additional time and stuff, it might, um, might work out. But it's gonna need. It's going to need that additional time, I think. We're good? I think we're good. Let's take a U out, and let's hop over here and do the same thing with this one. There doesn't actually appear to be a spawner there. Was there one right here? You guys are really annoying. Did you know that? I think they know that. And no spawner there either. Okay. Like when it says clean the sink, does that mean that we have to like get rid of all the the green the green stuff or just take out the spawners? That part is not entirely clear. I definitely think the um uh you know mobs without sound can be used in really interesting ways, but for none of the mobs to have sounds is a little, um, I don't know, not a, not a huge fan of that. All right, where to next? Exactly. Are we supposed to do something with the cupboards? Uh, break the trash on the floor. Fix the TV. Defeat the spiders. What spiders? There's spiders everywhere. Remove breadcrumbs. Okay. Uh, okay. And it can break what? Can break lime stained glass, spawner, prismarine slab. I don't know if just some of the commands aren't working or what. Go ahead and hop down. Oh gosh, you guys are very fast. Very, very fast. Fast guys are fast. That should work. Take out the spawner. Um, 
This one too, maybe? Oh gosh. Okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh gosh, we're out of we're out of things. There's my there's my menu. Um more blocks, more blocks, more blocks. You guys just do like zero damage. Did you know that? Did you know that? Okay. And then let's go ahead and take out your home. Say goodbye, home. And we're just gonna ignore the rest of you guys. Where's the TV at? I think that's the TV over there, right? A lot of open space in this room, I must say. Is there a monument? I don't know if I've seen a monument anywhere. Um, block choices. There's not a lot of good options as far as blocks go. I'm thinking when it says defeat the spiders, that it's maybe talking about all these spawners on the ground. But again, that's not entirely clear. Um, okay, there's a door here. Let's check it out. Are you serious? Okay, well, we found a chest. Uh, plus 30% health. Yes, please. I don't mind if I do. Hi. Oh, just, just be gone. Be gone, I say. Evil, evil maze. Oh, I just saw one run right by me. Ooh. Oh, oh. This maze is going to be a death trap. Um, yes, please. I don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and switch those out. And get the diamond boots on. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to choose. The guy just died on his own. I didn't have to do anything. Oh, wait. I was going to do something else. What was I going to do? What else did we find in here? Oh, it's just the stake, right? I think so. I almost feel like this would work better as an adventure map. Or like an adventure CTM hybrid, maybe? Are we supposed to be taking out the little, the brown stuff? I'm not even sure which part of the quest this, this is, this is part of. I should not be wasting durability on you guys. Something tells me you probably have like one health. Yeah. I think that is the case. Yeah, I don't know if breaking the, uh, the brown stuff is what our goal is here. Oh no wait. Oh, they actually have a little bit more than just, uh, just the one health. They are easy to take out, even in uh, groups because of the swipe attack. Go away. I don't really need you. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of them. And they're all dead. <laughs> Destroy! Kill! Something tells me that is not the end of them. Oh, I want the blocks. Blocks, please. I don't think I'm ever going to use that. Although, I guess it would actually be decent to use here in this place, right? Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Um, ooh, okay. We're just going to go and exchange those. What is it? Actually, that's terrible. Bane of Arthropods. But, you know, it's an iron sword. I think it has... Oh, you know, I don't think they put any kind of attack damage or attack speed. That might be intentional. Not sure. Where are your freaking spawners at, man? Go away. You two. And you. And all of you. Oh, I think I found another one. Also, name tags for the mobs might help so that we can clearly distinguish what they are. Because it's not entirely clear. You guys are doing a, just a ton of damage to my... Oh, okay. Oh, hello. To my armor. The point where it's probably going to be broken here soon. So let's put on this stuff just so we can preserve it in case... Uh, in case we need to. More steak. 
Don't mind if I do. Where are you coming from? You're so annoying. Um, let's do that. And that. Uh, we've apparently already been there. I guess there could be, like, spawners above me, right? Oh, hey. Yeah. I I think this could definitely work pretty well. Um. Oh, gosh. Okay. Spawner found. Ha. And arrows found. Guys are dead. I definitely think it could work pretty well. Uh, let's do that. And I think this is going to be faster anyways, but... I think you're going to have to give the player a lot more direction. And... Also... Uh, like I said, I think it would work better maybe as like a... Survival adventure kind of hybrid map. So that you can really control what blocks players can and cannot place. Um, let's head up on top of the TV. And it seems like there's, I don't know, like 12 objectives, I think, based on the book. Uh, nine, nine objectives, and we've gotten two. I think maybe we've gotten more than that. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, here's the TV, but I think this is the TV. Oh, oh gosh. Hi, everybody. Oh gosh. Guys, that's not very nice. It's not nice at all. Um, I don't think this is going to be a good sword to use. Oh, you guys do a lot of damage. Well, I don't know about a lot, but a decent amount of damage. Okay, eat the foods. Um, spawn her down. And spawn her down. Block off and get some health back real quick before we finish taking these guys out. Um, okay, let's switch to steak just to speed things up a little bit. Oh gosh, I didn't know there was gonna be more of you. Come on, hunger, let me eat, let me eat, let me eat, let me eat. I need, I definitely need a better weapon. Oh, I have this axe, huh? I totally forgot about the axe. Oh, gosh dang it. Alright, do that. Block off. What are you? I think somebody just died. Did somebody just die? I have no idea. Uh, kill. Okay, here's the official entrance, I think. These guys can definitely take a good beating, can't they? Oh, it goes up. It goes up. Oh, are you serious, man? Another another one of these, huh? Okay, fine, fine. We'll do we'll do another black concrete maze. As you know, they're just so very enjoyable. Um too bad I can't get you guys to do some infighting. That would be fantastic. I think their fire rate is maybe higher than normal. Alright, can we just, um... Maybe... 
go like to the end or something? What do we got? Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Better weapon. More of that. Uh, let's just go ahead and exchange things if we can. I don't think I'm going to use that. Uh, helmet. Helmet. Yes, please. I hope that's not the way to go. Eat the foods. What's through here? Anything? I think we've already been there before. And through here, maybe? Alright, we've destroyed two blocks, but I'm not sure if that's really what we were trying to do or not. This kind of feels like the, uh, like the maze we were just in where, okay, I just want to tear everything down. Blue wire can be placed on blue concrete. Oh. Okay. Well, I think we messed up there. <laughs> we're apparently supposed to find a blue wire and a red wire. And... Place them on the blocks. Again, this this just feels like a map that um, was quite ambitious, and given the time constraints of the Strawberry Jam, I don't think was quite able to fulfill uh, what the map makers had hoped to accomplish in the map. But still, I'm seeing a lot of really cool ideas, and I like the general aesthetic of the map as well. And I, I would like to see more kind of maps that aren't just your basic kind of fantasy type theme. Uh, that. And that. And you can tell just, you know, spawners not being primed and just certain things you can tell that it was a very, very rushed. I and mean, even the fact that I have to input commands to get things to work. But very cool custom mobs. Oh, is that why we have this pickaxe? So would another pickaxe not work? Uh, no, it works just fine. Huh. This one's going to be faster anyways. Let's put our diamond booties back on. And was this part of the thing that we're supposed to do? Uh, remove breadcrumbs... No. I'm not even sure where the couch is. Oh, I think, I think those were the breadcrumbs down there that we were fighting. So, what is this? This is not the ant colony. It's not the trash on the floor. Maybe it's the spiders? Because there were the baby spiders. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is there anything in these? Oh, what was that? Oh, it's just wood. Yeah... Not entirely sure. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Um, sure, although, once again, I don't think it has... any armor rating. Right? So it's just the enchants. Um, well, that, that's decent. I think I'd rather just have the straight-up armor. Alright, so does that mean that we're done with this one? Oops, oh gosh, I got a little lost there. Uh, I'm gonna say yes. Perhaps. Oh, look, things are lit up over there. I guess that's the monument. 
nothingness. This is the sad reality of our existence. Beyond the door, it is, it is, but, but void. A vast, vast nothingness. Um, okay. I see this over here. Maybe... Maybe this is like the entrance to the ant, ant colony? I guess that kind of makes sense. And then this is going to be the monument up here. And there's this redstone that kind of caught my eye. Although there's nothing in this chest. Huh. And as far as the monument goes, we've done four, I think, of the nine objectives. Or no. We've just done two. Although, again, I don't think some of them are doable at this point in time. So let's head down into this ant colony and we'll we'll go ahead and end things at that point. Let's see how this plays. It looks like we're gonna have to block up though. Let's switch to our wood and start heading up. In some ways this reminds me a little bit of the map. I made the anatomical adventure one. Um uh, we have like germs and stuff and and again it's just a different different kind of setting than most CTM maps. I really like that. So despite the uh aren't you guys breadcrumbs? I guess yeah, I guess the ants would, would bring breadcrumbs with them, right? Uh let's just go ahead and block up um, yeah, we'll go ahead and switch to that. Why not? Why not? And let's just keep running. Oh, yeah. And once again, I would take that, and I would take that, and we're going to keep going. And do we have to go up? Looks like it. Oh, there is water right there. I'm guessing that's so that we can get back, but you have to block up to... Whoa, I'm not sure what just happened. Oh, um, huh. Okay, I'm very confused now. Alright, well, I, th I think we went through most parts of the map. All right, let's double check this. We cleaned the sink. I guess, kind of. I'm not sure what that entails. We just went through the ant colony. We were up on top of the stove and we lit things on fire. We've kind of broken some things on the floor. It's not clear what constitutes trash, though. We... I think we broke the TV even, even more, but, you know. <laughs> we went to the glasses. We, uh, we fought some spiders, I think. We destroyed some spider spawners, that's for certain. We drank some milk. And we removed the breadcrumbs from the couch. So I'm going to say that we, that we, you know, got the full experience of the map, even if we didn't actually complete the monument. I'm thinking that this is the trash on the floor. Maybe, and we destroyed those other two spawners. So I wonder what happens if we break these ones. I do kind of like this idea of objectives being tied to, like, you know, not just necessarily, like, retrieving... Um, retrieving a wool, but, you know, in, in, oh gosh dang it, in this case, um, breaking blocks or maybe defeating a certain number of mobs is another possibility. Oh, that's the one that we already took out. Okay. Oh, good to know. Good to know. And can we reach it? I think we can. Take it out. Nothing happened. Oh, there's a button. 
Haste. Okay. I'm not sure what purpose that serves. Anyways, you guys, a very unique, interesting map. I would like to see uh, maybe a more polished version. Would be cool. Oh, there's something up there. Oh, no, that's part of the sink. What is going on? I can't, like, swing my sword. Whoa. What on earth? Oh, it's to be able to... Is it to be able to clean up the trash? Is that what it's for? Ah, interesting. Oh, that's going to go through my pick very, very quickly. I want to see... Do, I, do we really have to break all of this, though? I know it's, it's haste and that... You know, we can easily destroy it all, but it's kind of, kind of, kind of boring, I must say. Although that is fun. It is fun to just, you know, break blocks like this, but maybe just a smaller pile. Uh, or let them blow it up with, like, explosions or something. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.